Hi, Moth Balls. So we have an exciting vlog today. Can you guess what it is? We're going, sorry, it's reflecting my glasses. We're going on another shop with me, but this time we're going to Costco's. <laughs> Joanna's coming with me. We're going together. We're doing our bi-weekly grocery shopping. So I'm going to show you what we're doing along the way. And then when we get home, I'm going to do a haul. I've heard your cries. I've heard your comments. I've heard your prayers. You want a haul. So you're going to get a haul. So join us as we go on our shopping trip. And then, like I said, at the end, we'll show you everything that we got. So that'll be exciting. And then I'm sure that this vlog just won't be about that. I always add like a bunch of stuff into it. So we will see what it brings us. Well, come along. It feels weird that we use our names. Names are for people who are less acquainted than we are. <laughs> My finger hovers paralyzed for the briefest of something angry at life. Pulling up to my house is such a normal activity that I almost think the whole day hasn't happened. I wonder what I was doing at Trent's. I wonder why Jeffrey had called. Lily is fine. She's waiting for me, asleep in her bed in the kitchen. It may take her a minute to perk up when I walk in the door. She's been a terrible watchdog these past few years, but she will wake up. She will wake up and I walk in the door. She will wake up. As long as I sit in the car. All right, so we made it. And let me tell you, it was not terrible when we got there. We went right ahead. We saw the Squishmallows, like the Jungle Gym. I recorded sideways, apparently, but it wasn't terrible when we got there. Like I said, it wasn't too and terribly busy. There was actual space for us to park, not all the way at the end of the parking lot, which, love, that never happens. Speaking of, love, the Lego plants. I have a Lego bonsai tree that Joanna got me. Oh, they also have Pokemon cards lots of those if you're into it uh, we checked out the computer which i have that one i just got it recently love it but apparently i was obsessed with the pokemon cards it was 33.99 so next we saw this three-in-one charger charges your phone airpods and your apple watch it's 39.99 i've heard mixed reviews some people really like them some people say it doesn't work at all so get at your own discretion but i personally kind of want one the next thing that we saw that I think is a good deal is they were selling PS5 for $529.99. I don't know if that's a good deal, but what I do know is a good deal is their Nintendo Switch items. So they have the new Peach game. I don't know much about it, um, but it looks like it was $54.99. They also always like have controllers. Um, they have the actual consoles. They also have a ton of fans right now. So if it's hot where you are, it's hot where I am. This is the go-to place. They got fans. They have this organizer, but I noticed I had a giant crack in it. Oh, um, I just went back to looking at the fans. They have a ton of them for different spaces. Highly recommend as it's getting warmer to get your fans out because I don't, like I said, I don't know about you, but I am already sweating. Uh, next, I saw that they had the Dyson Airwrap for $400, but then they had the dupe for $240. I'm just saying, if I'm going to buy one of those, I'm going to buy the $240 one. They also had the power wash. It's a green machine power wash. It's like 80 bucks. We have that. Can't wait to use it in our new house when we get one. Um, and then I also saw they had, what is this? A shark air purifier for $200 looks super fancy but not as fancy as this fan apparently this one's been all over social media it's the Dyson it purifies and is a fan so that'll save a lot of room I'm it's just dual brew nine how much should we pay for ours notice how like all the boxes are messed up for our future home. I always look at this Ninja Crock-Pot when we come here. Do we need it? No. Do I love it? Yes. Do I know why? No. I think I like the color and the way it's set up. It's just a normal Crock-Pot, but it looks like it comes with a spatula, so maybe that's even better. 
who knows? So over here, we have a digital kettle, but not just any digital kettle. This is a really nice looking digital kettle that happens to have a tea infuser in the middle of it. So when I pan up here, you see right that canister in the middle, you can put loose tea leaves in. So while you're heating up your water, you're making your tea. Also, my mom has a food saver, loves it. I always talk about it, point it out whenever we're at Costco's. I'm like, food saver, my mom loves hers. And then Joanna recently got invested. She also wants to get a food saver when we move out. Maybe not this particular one. We don't know much about it. We still have to research and whatnot, but we'll get one. I also, I love these glasses. So they are plastic. As you can see, I'm going to hit them against random objects and they're not going to break. Good for me. They're $17 for an eight pack, which is not bad. I think it's perfect for if you like our having a drink outside, having like a little picnic. They also have these glass Pyrex dishes. We got these for Christmas. We already have some and we love them. They are in fact airtight and leak proof. They work really well. They're a little bit heavier than your plastic Tupperware, but I endorsed. I really like them. They also have this salad spinner, which we have one. I just like playing with this one because you just push the button and it spins. $10, not too bad. And then they have these little pans, these pre baker pans. I always put them out wherever I am. $18, not too bad. I think it's like a four pack. I don't know, but they look good. Yeah, they're heavy duty four pack. They also had these really cute dishes, honestly, $45. They have a 12 set for $22. They're really cute. They are not glass or ceramic so they're not going to break on you but i love the design yeah they have dinner plates salad plates and dinner bowls they're dishwasher safe <laughs> this said chunks next i went over and i touched this pillow it looks so soft but it wasn't what i was expecting 15 dollars for this one giant pillow it's not even that soft but the moment we've been waiting for this is what we came to costco's for the cooling comforter. They have a queen size and they have a king size. And this thing we are so excited for. So obviously you think blanket, oh, I wanna be warm. But then you think summer, I want blanket, but I am too warm. Well, introducing the cooling comforter. So the way it works is it's not supposed to trap in heat. It is supposed to cool you down while you're sleeping, but then you still have the comfort of having a blanket on you. Cause I don't know about you, but I need one to sleep. So for $60, we're getting the king size and literally cannot wait to use this. It comes in blue, it comes in white and uh, we're gonna use it like a duvet. We're gonna put duvet covers on it. They also have a ton of plastic bins currently. So if you're moving out, if you need to store things, they have like these Instacrates for $9. Not the sturdiest, but if in a pinch if you need it. They also have a ton of these plastic ones. $8, not bad pricing. Speaking of not bad pricing, for $15, you can get some freeze-dried chicken. Good for cats and dogs. I also saw these weird chickpea veggie crisps. I don't want to eat these. They have a bunch of things in them that I personally don't like. I just wanted to show them to you. I also wanted to show you these lemon bites. They also have these pre-made meals. They have noodles, chicken, salad. Good for a family. This is also good for a family. These ones are weird. I always look at these beef sticks. You pay like $15 for what? Long skinny hot dogs? No, thank you. But yes, thank you to these three pack of pierogies. $11.49, you get a three pack of pierogies. They look really good. They honestly, I feel like you, you could use that multiple meals. So I think it's perfect for meal planning. Hello, we're eating pizza. Our Costco's food court dinner. Joanna got a slice of cheese pizza and I have my favorite chicken bake. I'm gonna take a bite. My cheese is sliding off my pizza. <laughs> it's because it's really hot. Mm, it must have just come out. But, so we just did our Costco's trip. I didn't get to record as much as I would have liked because it was absolutely crazy in there. Um, literally, when we first got there, it wasn't that bad. 
like we could find a parking spot it wasn't at the very end of the lot there was like room to walk around and breathe as it started getting closer to closing time which we ended up checking around around 7 30 that's when it got really crazy and at one point me and joanna had walked through a line so that we could get to an aisle that was completely blocked off and this lady and her husband are standing there there's a big open spot for us to walk through so we do and all we hear behind us as we're walking away is rude that was rude 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 and rude still rude yeah That's rude still rude and i'm like i don't know that she was talking about us i feel like maybe somebody cut her off because all we did was walk by her and walk down an aisle so take that as you will well, and she left an opening so people could go down but then exactly no. it's not like we were taking our spot in line or anything we just wanted to get to the aisle no i'm not trying to cut i'm just trying to check out the skincare okay mm -hmm. we want to see if there's deals yep they have the corsex there we saw it they do. Good price for two of the snail mucins. Two of the snail mucins and two trial size of the, uh, like the snail mucin moisturizing creams, mm. which really good price. I ended up not getting it because I currently have like a full bottle pretty much of the snail mucin serum. Um, and I have like a full one of the moisturizer cause I got them from Joanna as a gift, mm -hmm. but I do need to buy soon like the actual face wash cause I'm almost out, but again, I've almost been out of that for weeks now and I still haven't run out. So who knows if I actually will ever have to buy more. <laughs> but we're just eating our little dinner. We're gonna do a haul when we go home. Um, and then after we eat right now, we're gonna head over to Stop and Shop. See stop if, and pop. Yeah, stop and pop at the Stop and Shop. Stop and uh, pop and lock and pop it out. Pop, lock and drop it. But yeah, so we're gonna go there. Stop popping. Drop it. <laughs> Spot. Stop. Stop. Pop. Bin lock. <laughs> Stop popping. Shop it. Thank you. You're welcome. That was really difficult. I know. Hello? <laughs> yeah. Hi. People are crazy, let me tell you. But we're going to run a stop and shop. I'm going to see if there's any deals there. If there are, I'll let you know. Um. <laughs> To get out of here. Yeah, I need to take a bite and I'm gonna finish eating this in the stop and shop parking lot. Okay, see this is the prime the prime spot is right next to where you put your purges back. Because then once we once we do our shopping, we have to get rid of our carriage right next to us. We could have gotten joyful. But you know what? This is cheaper and good. Mm. We're gonna be homeowners. We have to get the cheap stuff. Cheers. <laughs> There's a new store, Boot Bomb. Coming soon. Oh, grand opening. Now uh, hiring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. That's what happened. <laughs> my guess is that they sell cowboy boots only. My guess is that they only sell the left boot and you have to go somewhere else to get the touch. <laughs> you get the left boot at Boot Barn and the right boot at Kohl's. Mm, yes. One's a bargain, one's not. You know what they should have called it? Foot Barn. Yeah, because you can only sell boots. I mean, I don't know what they do there, but... If they sell anything but boots, I'm going to riot. They cornered themselves in the market. And in the plaza. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, Kohl's is right there, and you can use your Kohl's cash and get stuff for free. I love Kohl's, is a rip-off nowadays. The only thing that they have that's up on Kohl's, they're right next to Panera. Mm. You go shopping, you immediately get lunch. Mm-hmm. True that. Why was he so angry? I don't know, he's sassy. Whoa, whoa, look at this guy. Wee! Oh my gosh. We just saw man zoop. Zoop? zoop? <laughs> yeah. I'm coining that phrase. We just saw man zoop by an electric scooter that was definitely like, I don't know if it's tricked out or what, but it's like an actual scooter, electric scooter, not the ones that you sit on, the ones that you stand on. And he was going so fast. Uh-huh. Carters. Also, 
The inside of my mouth is burning every time I eat because because you stabbed yourself with this rod. Mm-hmm. Rough. I've done this twice now. So before we went shopping, sorry, my glasses are reflecting. I need to get that fixed. But before we went shopping, we always like to get a coffee to kind of fuel up. And we went, we got Duncan. As we were pulling out of Duncan, Joanne hands me my straw to put in my drink. I put it in my mouth so I could pull the wrapper off. And then when I went to turn, I hit it and it stabbed me in the back of the mouth, like right on the cusp of my mouth and my throat. So now I can feel that it's like all irritated back there. And every time I eat, it's like, like, I don't know. Imagine like you got a scrape on your knee and then somebody kept continuously petting that scrape. That's what it feels I'm like. I'm going to pet your scrape. That's how the food is, feels going down I'm gonna my throat. I'm going to pet your scrape. Don't pet my scrape. So that's just what it feels like. Biatch. <laughs> did forget to <laughs> I did forget to record and stop and shop. Um, part of it was I forgot to record. The other part is by the time I did remember, way too far into the shopping trip to kind of like go back and start over again. We had already filled up a lot of our cart. So I'm gonna have to kind of go right into our haul. Right now I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> Hold on, let me stir this. Right now I'm trying to thaw some beef in a wok. Why am I doing it this way? I don't know how to use a wok. Um, anyhow, yeah, so I'm going to have to go straight into like showing you the haul, what we got, some of our plans for it. Um, it is a really good haul. There's a lot of stuff, so I think that you're really going to enjoy seeing what we got. But sorry I didn't record Stop and Chop next time. Next time I'll have it together. But enjoy the haul. All right, so jumping right into it, we have our Costco's haul first. Lots of good stuff. Just showing you like an overview of everything we got from there, plus some stuff from Stop and Chop. But we got to start a six pack of peppers. They're always so fresh. We love the peppers from there. Their produce is amazing. We always get the lettuce from there too. They come in such a big packs and you get such a deal. We found these tiny cucumbers that are called cute cucumbers. They certainly live up to their name. They're just so small and so adorable. The next thing we have here is just some wild wonders, tomatoes. We really like the mixed kind, lots of good flavors but not as flavorful as these pierogies look. They, it was such a good deal. I can't remember how much it was now, my apologies, but you got three packages of potato and cheese pierogies and they can be free, so you don't have to worry about using them right away. Such a good deal. Additionally, we got another great deal. I think this ended up being less than $20. It's three different body washes. They have a scratch and sniff that we obviously used at the store. But what a great deal. Less than 20 for three. We also have this copper kettle Parmesan cheese flakes. We like to make like Caesar salads and place those in that or chicken Caesar salads. It's just really great for those. But my favorite part is the lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. So good. So good. We're also going to have this kielbasa with the pierogies. Um, so that another good deal. You get two large kielbasas for $15.76. Not too bad. I've definitely seen the prices lower when they're having sales, but couldn't pass that up. We also got our oat milk. We got some more peppers. These are the little ones, Wild Wonders. And some avocado oil, classic sea salt potato chips. These are super crispy, super good, comparable almost to keep cod chips. In the crispy factor. Uh, Joanna got me turned on to these and I love them. We also love the made good granola minis. Great with like a yogurt for breakfast. <laughs> it, Joanna takes those to work every day. We also got these really good looking premium hydroponically grown strawberries. We didn't know that they were hydroponically grown when we got them or at least I didn't know. Joanna could have but I don't know. They looked so good. So fresh. Look at those. Next, we have a big bag of yellow onions, yellow potatoes. Again, great deals. But the best thing that the reason we went was for the cooling comforter. This thing oh, we're so excited for because we run hot 
and they had it in queen they had it in king is a little bit heavy but honestly we're going to use it we're just going to put duvet covers over it and call it a day and uh, we're going to love it the next thing that we have is our stop and shop haul again we got so many good things from stop and shop literally uh, we did we did good we didn't even spend that much money the first thing i'm gonna point out is this mediterranean mint gelato from talenti i love this not a lot of people love mint for ice creams or gelatos but i do i also like to drink these probiotic dailies um the only yogurt drinks that i will personally have i just take a little shot every day you don't even have to think about it you just throw it back and then you're done so i appreciate that Joanna's, however, she really likes the Chobani flavored drinks. So she got the, it looks like two peaches, two pina coladas, which are her favorites right now. And then I, I think too, like those ones are, you don't get to see those very often. So I'm really glad that she was able to find those because I think those are a lot of people's favorites. They go fast. So we have the two pina coladas. We have the two peaches, and then we have the four pack of the strawberry banana. For breakfast, I wanted these frosted hot fudge Sunday Pop Tarts. Are they good for you? No. Are they delicious? Yes. These things were so freaking good. I ate them all in like three days. I'm going to be honest, I didn't even eat all these for breakfast, I had them for snacks for work too. Joanna got the crunchy poppers. We hadn't seen these before, so we thought, why not? And she really likes them. I've been putting them in her lunchbox when she's going to work just for an added little thing for breakfast. You don't really need much of these, however, and it's not the only thing that she's bringing for breakfast. It's just nice little sugary addition. And speaking of sugar, I love the fruits and cream oatmeal. It is classic from my childhood. We always fought over who got the strawberry ones, and I never won. So I ended up growing to like the banana ones. The other thing that I got, not classic from my childhood, is Cap'n Crunch Crunch Berries. Now, this box massive. It's huge, but I needed that because the last time I bought just the regular size box, I went through it so quick because we buy groceries for two weeks at a time. So I, I just went through that within that two weeks, just too quickly. So I got the bigger box and I'm actually just running out of it now. It's, it's almost time to go shopping again. But the other thing that I got for breakfast was the Bolt House Farms Mocha Cappuccino Protein Drinks. For my ADHD, having protein in the morning is so important. It really helps jumpstart my day, get off on the right foot. So I like to buy these. Um, the coffee flavor, however, is Protein Plus. as 30 grams of protein. So they also really help start my mornings. We got a Caesar dressing because we're going to be making chicken Caesar salad with our crispy chicken from Costco's and our Parmesan flakes. Um, we also got some French hell of a good dip to go with whatever meal we decide to have the chips with. Um, I honestly, I forget which one we, we did that one with, but love hell of a good dip. And then Joanna got these mint leaves. She plans on making a mint coffee, much like one of her favorite, I guess you could say TikTokers, YouTuber combo, more TikTok than YouTube. But she was really interested in making this type of mint coffee. So we still look forward to doing that. And then additionally, we got a big thing of sour cream. Come to find out we have tons of sour cream already. Whoopsies. I got these crystal light drinks. They're pineapple strawberry with caffeine and then blueberry raspberry. And I'm really excited because I hate having to like go to the closet, open up the package, pour it in my water, throw out the packages, all that jazz. So I'm happy to just be able to like kind of open it and not have all that waste. And then Joanna got the strawberry orange banana crystal light. And this one we haven't tried before. So I'm excited to see if she likes that because every time it seems like we find a new one that she's vibing with, they're suddenly not selling them anymore. So we got that one. And then the peach mango green tea, which she has had and likes. We got some sugar for our coffee. Sweet relish to make a Big Mac sauce. Classic Reuben pickles. Um, we got lots of cheese, 
starting with cheese sticks, again, for Joanna's lunch or snacks or whatever floats her boat at the time. She also had those from her childhood. We have like 10, 10 different types of cheese. I accidentally dropped that one in the sink, but don't worry about it. It's fine. We also got some tortillas, some tomatoes. Um, we got some vegetable fried rice and BBQ pork fried rice. Excited to try those. We also finally found some hash browns. Those are so hard to find places nowadays. And I, I don't know. We just look for it everywhere. I don't want to say other than why is nobody selling enough hash browns to accommodate the amount of people who want hash browns. And also Joanna's going to make a really good hash brown meal with this. So I'm excited to have that. We have a bunch of uh, lunch items. Ginger ale. It's raspberry ginger ale. You can only get it at Stop and Shop. We have these little chips for just snacky items at home, especially when we're working at home and we want something easy to grab. Vitamin water. Joanna loves her vitamin water. So we bought four cases of it and we're going to put some upstairs. So as you know, this vlog came out much later than it should have. And we have used the majority of those groceries already. There's still a couple meals that we haven't made yet, but we went through them pretty quickly. So we... So far we've done, we've done hamburgers. We've done, why can't I think anymore? All, I, all I'm going to say is we went through those pretty quickly. So we do have another shopping trip coming up on potentially Saturday. We're not doing our normal Friday shopping trip because we're actually going to see my best. They live up in the area and we're gonna go and sleep over for the night get to see where they live we haven't been to their abode yet since they moved there and it's just been too long it's been way too long so i'm really excited to go me and joanna are gonna go like i said spend the night and um my best friend is gonna show us their stomping ground so we're not gonna go shopping on friday but we're gonna try to go shopping on saturday so if for some reason I am able to, I will try to see if I can get some footage of our shopping trip. But if I'm too tired, I'm not going to guarantee anything. You might not ever see that shopping trip ever. Um, if it helps, though, I will try to see if I can get some footage of our trip when we visit my friend. So we'll see how that goes. But I hope that you enjoyed the vlog. Sorry that it's super late, but because of that, you got two vlogs today. So enjoy. Please like, drop a comment, subscribe, put on your notifications, and, you know, stay dusty, mothballs.